Hi, today is Sunday the 11th and this is the SPX Outlook for the coming week, 13th to 18th and we are looking at a very crazy bull market. Last week we started with a Trump tweet and the recovery and the market looked like bullish and I had to go back to the previous video to actually uh, confirm that my initial outlook was correct with the market going right up to 34.40 or thereabout. Then we had that other tweet that sent the, sent the market down but more surprisingly since then it went up and up and up. It stopped for a short while on 34.37 again or 34.40 and on Friday it kept grinding up so now this is a difficult time to make any form of uh, market assessment because this is still a strong resistance, very strong resistance and yet these excursions is of concern. This means that probably the market will try and aim for something like 3515, uh, 35.20. And this is again a difficult time because if we look at the curtises here, it's still grinding up to 5.2. So this means that a more pointy distribution, not a dispersion, but a distribution here, the, the, the chances of fat tails is growing. So this is really a bit of a concern and if we look now at the SPX VIX correlation it's going all over the show. Basically volatility goes up and down and we're still not back to a normal behavior. So this is a cause for concern but now if we go back to our trades I would say bullish momentum and any tweet, any information, any jitters to towards the elections because Maybe President Trump won't step down, won't, won't, ex, won't accept um, mail ballots. Anything can happen. So it's really a time for caution. So uh, on one hand, we could say, well, just go with the flow. And increase hedging activity means that a lot of people go with the flow, but start hedging their position quite actively, quite massively. So uh, really time to be a little bit more cautious and careful. The longer time frame shows this one as being a pivot. The resistance levels have gone up for quite a while and we see that we have probably 3520 all the way to 3600 as possible targets and maybe higher considering now that the stall level on the longer time frame is actually 3670. So this market would suggest that the market will try and grind higher again. Okay, this is our clocks. If we plot again, FIP, we see that we are above above the two thirds. This is this 3440 area is still very strong. So the chances of this excursion being short lived is also true. So um, and I would assume going back to the four hour chart that the 3440 would need to be tested as support for bulls to really confirm the the willingness to take the market higher. So I still believe that at some point 3440, 3445 will be tested. Now, uh, lastly, a look on the one hour chart for Monday. Here we see that the stall level is on about 3495, 3500, and the major resistance is on 3515, maybe 20. 3440 moved from strong resistance to now pivot, which is the second, second strongest. And as far as possible retracement, retracement could go all the way down to where it was not so long ago. So basically 3360 is the strong resistance for the next day or so. Right, that's it for now. Next video will be on current trades. Thanks for watching and bye for now.